good morning everyone <coughs> oh, now in the today's class we will see plane wall with internal heat generation okay up till now we have not taken this we have considering that there will not be any heat generation in this assumption now we are relaxing from this assumptions and we consider internal heat generation so i request you guys please those who are not subscribed to the channel hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to the channel let me start the today's class that is plane wall with internal heat generation right so see uh, before starting first we have to see again once again i have to uh, revisit on general heat conduction equation general general heat conduction general heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinates right in cartesian coordinate okay how it looks like that is del square okay in the vector form i am writing q z right divided by k which is equal to 1 by alpha uh, do t by do tau right this is this equation is called a fourier fourier byard byard equation right see here in this there will not be any uh, right uh, uh, dense uh, if there is no assumptions in Fourier by equation. Okay, there will there will not any assumptions taken. Right now in the conduction heat transfer in plane wall, what we are seeing our main objective is to that is finding out the temperature variation, right, and the rate of conduction heat transfer. That is what the, our aim is, right? In conduction heat transfer, let please write down this conduction heat transfer in plane wall plane wall we have two objective the one is that is finding the temperature difference and the other is rate of rate of conduction heat transfer this is my two objectives right so <clears throat> So see, if I assume the steady state heat conduction, see here. Steady state. If my assumption is steady state. Then, then how this equation, how it is, that is dou T by dou tau is equal to G. The second, that is if it is one day means the x direction then in this case um, do 2t by do x square which is not equal to 0 right and the other terms that is do t by do y square right this is equal to 0 and do t by do z square this is also equal to 0 now if there is no internal heat generation right internal heat generation then this case that is q dot g which is equal to 0 and if the k i take it as constant right k is constant then then the k is not function of temperature right this thing we have discussed already now from the c if the k is not constant see here if the, from the general heat conduction, conduction equation i will get right the t t is equal to see this thing we have already discussed that we will get the temperature changes with x that is a linear variation we have discussed that thing we will get 
okay now the plane wall with the internal heat generation right if there is a heat generation then right steady state internal heat generation with internal heat generation we will see see the internal now put the heading that is plane wall plane wall with internal with internal heat generation with internal heat generation plane wall with internal heat generation right see see here the case how this case will happen see suppose uh, let me take the image so that it will be better to you guys understand all right so so see this is the this is my plane wall right so in the internal heat generation what i will do i will put one register right see if i put one coil inside this right means i am just giving the example right there will be internal heat generation in this plane wall right if i connect to this battery right then there will be the internal heat generation right and that heat generation that is q dot g which is equal to i square r e right this is what the internal heat generation so this is the what the example of the internal heat generation so we have to consider this right okay now now see this now from from general from general heat conduction equation from general heat conduction equation that is del square t plus q heat generation divided by k which is equal to 1 alpha 1 by alpha dou t by dou tau right so so this term will goes to zero right this term goes to zero okay and this <coughs> what this means see it is in one direction then it is it gone that is d2t by dx square so so if i write it then further right so this i can write that is d2t by dx square plus <coughs> qg divided by k which is equal to zero and if i integrate this equation once let me integrate this okay this equation i'll integrate integrate once integrate once if we integrate then we will get that is dt by dx right which is equal to minus qg i will take this in this side dot divided by k into x plus c1 similarly if you integrate once more right so integrating again then you will get that is t integrating again here integrating again okay integrating again i will get that is minus q dot g by k x square plus c1 x plus c2 so here similarly we have get the two constants right see this is my equation this is uh, this will be my equation I'll call it as equation equation A. Okay, now I have to find out this constants that is C1 and C2, right? These are the integration constants. I have to find out that. Right? I have to find out C1 and C2 r inti integrating constants
to see, see here are the two constants so number of boundary conditions required number of boundary conditions required which is equal to 2 right so the two boundary condition so those which are those boundary conditions boundary conditions are the, the one is at x is equal to 0 this t is equal to t1 right and the second boundary condition at x is equal to delta this t is equal to t2 okay these are the two boundary conditions similarly if you find this boundary condition then you will get the i will write down the this is i will give you as a homework okay i will write down the direct equation here okay this way we have done in the last class similarly you have to do here also right you will have to find out with the help of boundary condition you will find out the boundary condition and the final equation i am writing here that is the temperature with respect to x we are getting like this that is t1 plus right t1 t2 minus t1 right x by delta see this th thing we are getting when there is no internal heat generation right this thing again the if there is an internal the additional term we will get that is q dot g by 2k okay and delta x minus x square this i will get see i am writing the final equation okay so it's your job to find out the boundary conditions and here direct writing the directly Okay, see here now the temperature varies with respect to x is how the variation is that is the t varies right which is okay the function it is a parabolic right parabolic parabolic variation see here, here the x y term is coming so it is the parabolic variation right now if it is a parabolic equation now the question again comes okay where the maximum temperature will be right if it is a linear equation then yes the temperature at which t1 is higher then where there we can treat it as a max temperature but here again the problem comes if it is a parabola then the problem the see the internal heat generation is also there right so the temperature will not be max at the boundary conditions right so now the thing is that we have to find the boundary conditions okay then how how to go with that see here this is this is the plane wall right so my just a minute I'll okay this is a plane one and the temperature is here the temperature is at this it is a T1 right and this temperature will be a T2 right now it is a parabolic then the parabola may comes like this like this right where it's a maximum temperature right now the question arises uh, the first question that is location of location of max temperature okay and the second is the max okay that is that is all the max location and and the maximum temperature right the location of that maximum temperature means at what distance at suppose this is my here it is x right this is delta the total distance at what distance and how much it is max temperature that's thing we have to find with the help of this equation right so uh, you know to get the max temperature as usual what we are doing the simple thing right what is that that is to get to get to get max temperature okay to get maximum we have to differentiate that is dt by dx i have to equate it to the zero right so my 
the t what the t is d by dx right so the t here that is t1 plus the t2 minus t1 right x by delta plus q dot generation divided by twice k in bracket delta x minus x square okay this which i have to equate to zero if you differentiate this then what you will get okay the value of x right you will get the value of the x after differentiating right so i will write down directly as yes. the differentiation part i will leave on you guys right so the x distance i will get that is there x is equal to delta by 2 minus this k by q dot gen into delta right the t1 minus t2 <coughs> the temperature difference okay so this is the location where i will get the max temperature right let me put it in bracket right once i get this then the okay uh, this is what the temp at this distance at this location right at this location my t is t max okay now see at x is equal to x max right the t is my temperature t is t max right at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 t is equal to t1 right and at x is equal to delta the t will be t2 okay so see here from the x max i will get t max right the maximum temperature will get maximum so how will i will find out now this uh, t max okay what you have to do right the x max what value you have to find out just now you have to put that temperature right see in the temperature equation that is t right the x which is equal to uh, tx right which is equal to that is t1 t1 plus t2 minus t1 x by see the x value you have to put here just now you have to find out that value you have to put and add that value right the g by 2k right here delta x value again you have to put here and here also you have to put okay if you put this value there right now first so what we will do we will take the first case that is if see there are again cases will happen how these cases will be happen are you guys getting what i am explaining you see this is the plane wall right in this plane wall uh, on this plane wall right the temperature may be right this is the temperature right uh, this is the plane wall and see the temperature here it is a t1 right here it is a t1 and here it is a suppose it is t2 see the case one have the, the, the t2 temperature is this the case one see how the case one is get the case in case one see the temperature at t1 may be greater may be lower right so similarly if take in the case one if t1 is greater than t2 right that that time what the x max i will get see the x max if t1 is greater than dc then x max okay means x max i will get which is equal to delta by 2 minus k by q gen del, uh, delta right t1 minus t2 See this term if t1 is greater than t2 right this term will be positive this will be positive right this is this is positive all the times this term this is also positive right t1 minus t2 is positive this is also positive right and this is also positive so if you uh, 
minus from let's see something you are deducting from this right this again the whole thing will get deducted from this so our delta in this case the x max will be the x max will be less than delta by 2 right we suppose see here let me explain this in here see this is my plane wall right so in this plane wall okay this is how the plane wall looks like this is delta right and see this is the center line right means it is a this line is at delta max uh, delta by 2 right this line will be okay and if the x max is less than delta by 2 then it will comes here right if the temperature see the temperature this temperature will be t1 which is greater than this temperature t2 right so my this will be the less than means the x max will i will get this is what the x max where the temperature is maximum so my the curvature looks like here see this is how the curvature looks like right so here on this the max temperature will be there then it will comes like this right so this is the t max max temperature when in case of internal heat generation right and this is x max this distance is x max distance okay maximum x distance see the x how this x is varies here you understood similarly if i see the case 2 right in the case 2 if i reduce the see now now we will see the energy balance equation in this how we will balance the energy let me write down here energy balance energy balance energy balance that is total rate of heat conduction right total rate of heat conduction heat or heat transfer heat transfer which is equal to that is q dot right q dot is equal to q1 plus q2 right q1 dot plus q2 dot right see why this q1 see the q1 will be uh, see as the q max is here there will be the heat transfer from see the temperature max here then then this will be heat transfer from this to this right uh, this direction the heat will get transferred and and this direction also the q2 right the q2 heat will transfer because the max temperature is here then see if the max is here then the heat will flow from this place to this direction and this in this direction also in the both direction heat will flow so the total rate of heat transfer that is q1 plus q2 right and and from see what the rate of heat generation okay see the q okay the q dot q dot g right the heat generation which is equal to area into the times delta right this is what the volume is okay if the total rate of heat in this and this which is equal to this q1 dot plus q2 dot you understood okay this is from energy balance you will get now we will see the next case that is case number two if t2 is greater than then t1 then that case how the scenario will be case two in case 2 right the t2 will be greater than t1 let me take the white color because the white on black background the white color is very looking good right see if t2 is greater than let me suppose this is my plane wall right so if this is the plane wall right and see this is my center line okay center line of the wall right it means it is at delta x by 2 if t2 is greater than then in this case what will see my t1 is less see at this point my t1 will be this is a t1 and t2 will be here right 
so in this case i will get okay the graph like this right means the x max okay this is my t max here t max okay and this is not the delta and the x right so the and this distance is x max this is the x max distance so x max will be x max will greater than delta 2 2 by 2 see here how I am done the, the x max delta that is delta by 2 right minus the, the term that is k by right q dot j into delta right in bracket t1 minus t2 okay if it is greater than this term will be positive then add up so the x max will get this d by 2 plus something so the x max will be more than this d by 2 delta right so this is how the case two and see in this case also how the from the energy balance will get that is qg into a into delta right which is equal to that is q1 dot plus q2 dot right the q1 dot is rate of heat generated from this direction that is q1 dot and you see why i am showing you this rate of heat is because the temperature is max here okay from the heat transport heat always flows from high temperature to low temperature right so this heat spread in this direction and in this direction from the maximum right so this is q dot 2 right you understood i think uh, there will not be any doubt in this okay and the case 3 now we will see the one more case that is case 3 in the case 3 case 3 See if T1 is equal to T2 then okay then it will be the T wall temperature okay if T1 is equal to T2 this is a okay uh, I request you guys please uh, uh, this C okay in uh, <coughs> there are uh, one more cases there are uh, two uh, one more cases we will see okay this uh, this you will study what will happen right the two cases I have already explained I request you guys please take it the two cases as a homework so that you will understand okay if you have doubt while solving this then put in a comment uh, I will uh, uh, the, I will give you the result of this also right how this variation will come right if t1 is equal to t2 okay this is again very simple not that much difficult right you have to just write down the temperature variation right and with respect to x find out the value of dt max right if n equal see from this i can see this term that is x max in this case x max which is equal to delta by 2 right minus this variable term that is k by q j n and delta t1 minus t2 right t1 minus t2 see this term goes to 0 right if the t1 and t2 are temporary means the x max in this case i am getting that is delta by 2 right so from the temperature gap you have to see the variation okay this is how you are getting in this case from the temperature relations you see how it is varies parabolically right see here uh, in this case okay uh, let me this will comes here this is my plane wall right and these are the lines okay and this is what the center line right means x is equal to delta by 2 from this plane wall x is equal to delta by 2 and the variation see if t1 means the temperature at the wall t1 which is equal to this t2 right so the x that is here x max i am getting delta by 2 right this is my x max x max so here i am getting the graph like this right and this is how the parabolic graph and my t max will be here this is my t max Okay, I explained this also. 
ओके ओके गाइस देन व्हाट वी विल डू वी सी अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन द हीट ऑफ कंडक्शन इन प्लेन वॉल्स ओनली राइट और अ सिंगल वॉल सो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल सी द कम इन द कंपोजिट वॉल केस ओके कंपोजिट मींस देयर आर मोर देन डिफरेंट मटेरियल ओके द स्लैब्स आर इन सीरीज दिस प्लेन वॉल वॉल्स आर स्लैब्स आर इन सीरीज इन पैरेलल दैट थिंग हाउ द हीट कंडक्शन और हीट ट्रांसपोर्ट टेक्स प्लेस that thing we'll discuss in the next class okay thanks for watching please hit the like button share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks bye